thank you everyone for coming back to the channel, Dale Chanel's 40th World. Glad to have you, but we got to get on into this topic. Yes, get your wine, fellas, get your coffee, ladies, or get your tea. Because it is time to have a little chit-chat time with Lady D. Okay? And the gist of the story is today, or the topic or conversation for today, is Nene Leakes having to either have to sit out for taping, from taping with the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season, I think is season 12. Is it 12 shots are coming up or 11? Yeah, season 12. Okay, some bloggers are saying that it's because of her uh, negative attitude she's been having with her cast members. Then you got some bloggers saying that no, it's because Kenya Moore is back and full of fat <laughs> and probably on the attack. And um, then we got the last one that I am really leaning to. She had to sit out because she had some indiscretion with that little closet, uh, we call it, uh, attack that she did with the uh, producers and the filming crew. Remember when she called herself putting hands on some of them, tearing shirts and all this other stuff, and then Candy dropping tea her and Portia behind the scenes saying a tooth was missing from one of the filming people. Or crew men, women, um, staff. And so I guess they had to say, okay, you put hands on somebody, it's going to be some consequences. And I'm real ready to bet you that that is why she's sitting out. Because evidently they get paid per episode. So she had to pay the man somehow. She, she already got her check for season 11. So they're going to work on season 12, putting a little uh, stunt of, making her not have some pay a couple of those episodes to more than likely pay for damages that she had incurred on the cameraman and the crew and probably other staff members too, okay? <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff will fly over the rainbow just as long as somebody's getting compensated with the money. You know, the greenbacks, the coins, but I'm sure they ain't looking for no coins, no silvers. No uh, silver coinage like dimes, nickels, and, and, and all that kind of stuff. No, they're looking for some greenbacks, some Benjamin Franklins, all those kinds. You know, hundreds, thousand dollar bills, you know, the big tanks of currency. All right, let's just get on into one of these stories that was brought out by iClick. I never heard of them before, but... They seem to be a little reputable because I'm sure they don't want any misprints or misspoken words that they can probably get, you know, taken to court for. So I think they're a pretty good uh, blogging site, new on the scene. But let's just go with what they're giving us on this NeNe Leak story. Okay. Uh, and again, that's I click as in I, the I in the alphabet, click, C-L-I-C-K TV, I click TV. Check them out. Okay. But anyway, the title of their article goes, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene Leakes not filming part of the season due to her attitude and is not thrilled that Kenya Moore is back. Okay. This was just put out on June 7th. All righty. So they go on to say, during the reunion show, fans watched the altercation between Nene Leakes and producers. It became very intense when we learned that Nene had ripped a cameraman's shirt. And later, Candy Burst and Portia Williams said that Nene had possibly caused the cameraman to end up in the hospital with a missing tooth. Talking about somebody putting hands on somebody. Hey, some hands got put on. And that's probably why she's sitting out trying to pay them doctor's bills that that cameraman incurred and probably pain and suffering. <laughs> <laughs> he probably got out for the season and, and doing real well because he had already got his bills paid uh, thanks to Nene Leaks. okay? But anyway, moving on from that, that was my commentary not put in this little um, article that this uh, blogger wrote for this magazine. 
Okay, so we go back to St. Candid Burris and Portia Williams said that Nene Leakes had possibly caused the cameraman, cameraman to end up in the hospital with a missing tooth. And all this occurred because production tried to film Portia and Candy inside her closet. Nene did not want anyone in there. Okay, a rumor has surfaced, surfaced saying for those above reason and her bad attitude with her interactions with the executives, and producers, she was asked to sit out for some of the filming for season 12. The new season is currently in production, okay? Nene gets paid by the episode with her not being filmed or not being able to be filmed. It is money she's losing. So that means she is not happy at this time. Who would be, okay? But she got a pay. She did a reaction. It was a negative one. And with negative actions comes consequences okay and at that time they ain't in your favor now if you were wrong okay we go back to the article it says there is a rumor that bravo is on the hunt for a new face with the name that would draw in fans of real housewives of atlanta okay kenya moore is back to filming for the new season an insider revealed that Kenya Moore is really excited to be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta next season as the deal is almost done. And my commentary to that is I'm sure she is because she was not getting any money that was having her to be afforded to how she likes to live her life. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mark Daly may be doing his little thing, but if she didn't have that baby... Kenya Moore still probably would have been fussing about getting back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But now she is truly a Real Housewife of Atlanta because she is married, allegedly, and she does have a baby. So with those criteria, she is considered to be a legitimate part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta and what it's supposed to stand for with the meaning of or the title of the show. Okay, so moving on from there because that was my commentary. Or my input, my opinion. Let's get back to this article, okay? Uh, she really wanted to make this happen. Just like I said, the well was running dry. And she didn't like that, okay? So, um, she's been spending a lot of time in L.A. But will be in Atlanta full-time once filming begins in June. The other ladies are excited to have her back as well. Cynthia Bailey, Portia Williams, Eva Marcel, and Candy Burris will be returning. However, Shamari DeVoe will either be out or back as a friend. <coughs> That's still being decided. <laughs> I was like, post Shamari. <sighs> the only thing that she, I guess, was giving in a negative light, they were making her look like she was a lush. Because she, I mean... She was a younger version. She was very uh, much full of life. She gave me everything as far as entertainment, but I guess they didn't want to show a drunk or someone likely to become an issue with the drinking on when they're filming on set. So I guess they didn't want to have her as a liability. So now she'll probably be pocketed as a friend of the show. Maybe Candy Burris, because she's touring and everything with Candy. So Candy could definitely film with her. But if you think about it, Candy kind of dished her too. When she went to um, Eva Marcella's wedding, and she was finna get turned up and everything, and Candy was like, nah, baby, this is the wrong time for you trying to be turning up. You know, I'm just looking at you like a friend, but, you know, uh, I think you need to leave the drinking alone for this special occasion because it's Eva's day. We don't want it to turn out to be your day and anything negative that you can bring with it by associating yourself with the drink. <laughs> An alcoholic drink, okay? <coughs> so Candy had kind of nice nasty tapped her hand too, which didn't help her cause. So I could see why they more than likely wanted to replace Shamari and get somebody a little bit more stable. It won't, you know, someone that can handle their liquor when they're entertaining, because that's all these women like to do it anyway, is toast up to a drink, uh, whether it's 100 proof or it's 5% proof, you know what I'm saying? But they want somebody to be able to handle their liquor and still entertain us at the same time. Okay, so I can see that. That was my commentary, my opinion, not in this article, but they did say in the article that Sh uh, Shamari DeVoe will either be out or back as a friend. That's still being decided. And Poe, Poe, Shamar, because this could have been definitely a come up for Ronnie DeVoe to, you know, get us more interested in seeing the background of him 
you know, uh, filming or, or catching some of new additions, new acts or what they're putting out there. You know, something where she could have visited him while he was on tour and could have gave us a back scene of them. But she blew it. She blew it all the way. Girl, you missed your opportunity and your coin. OK, Cause now say if you were getting 30,000 an episode, what you going to get 5,000 now? Girl, you blew that one all that drinking. OK, moving on. Okay, so we go back to uh, Tanya. Tanya Sands may also finally get her peach. I don't know why. And that's just me because I didn't like Tanya. Tanya gave me nothing. She was more, uh, she wasn't really a bone collector. She, to me, was just like a person getting in the way. But I don't know. Maybe she could bring it. I haven't seen what she could bring since she's been on the show for season 11. But trouble. And then Needing had to check her a couple of times, you know, because she wanted to basically tell everything and be the one that's showing out and this, that, and third. But Tanya just, oh, she just gets in my way and all my way of thinking and, and all kinds of sort of things in that nature. But um, we're just, you know, going with what we get given and we're just making our own opinions and speculation. So I just didn't like that when this article read that about Tanya Sands returning. Okay. With a peach. Oh, my goodness. Well, where is Marlo? Is Marlo too threatened because she has done some criminating uh, activity in the past and they want to get her a peach? Could I rather see her get a peach and let her and Nene fall out and, and, and do all that stuff again than rather have uh, Tanya? Because she's just sick. This is another Cynthia Bailey running around here. They're not giving me anything because if Cynthia didn't have her model looks and try to, you know, do some quirky stuff here and there. Because I'm, I'm still wondering why is she on the show, okay? Maybe she get married. Uh, then we do, we're going into Mike Hill getting his uh, career outside. Because unless you work, or unless you are really into the sports scene, CNN and all that, you really wouldn't know who Mike Hill is, you know? <sighs> so it's, it's just, I don't know. They need to find two replacements, really, two. Okay, but anyway, moving back on, it says Tanya Sams may also finally get her peach, which excites her, while Marlo Hampton will also be returning as a friend. I'm like, I hope they're giving Marlo some good friend money, okay? As if she had a peach, because she deserves everything she brings to the show. Because she lightly taps on the door, get her tea, spread it amicably, <laughs> and then, whoo, the fire has started, okay? And she'd be ready to sit out there and let it burn, let it burn, and have a fire extinguisher in her hand. And she'd just be contemplating, should I put it out? Should I put it out? <laughs> but that's just Marla Hampton. I don't know how Tanya can get a peach before her. It must be something deep that they're not letting us know. So I need them real good bloggers that have 600K or more. They need to get into this story and see why Marlo Hampton cannot get her peach. But anyway, moving on from there. It says, not everyone is happy that she is returning. Uh, Nene Leakes feels hesitant about the new season. The insider said, Nene isn't too thrilled about Kenya's return. And she's very nervous how this is all going to go. Especially because she hasn't spoken to her other cast members in some time. However, she loves the show and wants to do it. She also knows Kenya is good for TV, so she gets it. Yes, don't nobody want to leave the Real Housewives of Atlanta on their own terms because they know this is their bread and butter. And again, I don't care who may come in my comments and say they don't need this show. They don't need this show. They got wealth. They got investments. Well, how do you think they got that residual money to keep making other things happen? Their steady paycheck. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Oh, anyway, moving on from there, it goes to say uh, fans have spotted Kenya with Portia, Cynthia, and Marlo filming for the new season at the Atlanta Ultimate Women's Expo on June 1st. Kenya has been off the show for a year while she focused on caring for her new daughter, Brooklyn Doris Daly. And technically, I'm going to say no, Kenya hadn't really been off no year. She's still been contacting and being in negotiations with Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's definitely been posting on her Instagram, Facebook with her new baby girl, Brooklyn. But I have yet to be seeing a lot of photos been with the family, meaning uh, Mark Daly, her husband, as well as the baby and her. 
I mean, come on now. You're supposed to be a family. I don't need to keep seeing Kenya and the baby. I need to see Kenya, the dad, and the baby. Kenya, the dad, and the baby. That's what I want to see. But, hey, maybe it'll show up and taste him because he's getting paid, too. I'm sure on the side somewhere. Maybe his restaurant need a little boosting or renovating. So he wants to take some of Kenya's money by being able to film. Because at first he was just adamant about not being a part of the show when Kenya had introduced him to us. He didn't want no parts of it. So now the well getting dry on that end too. And that's just my commentary. I'm going to get on back into uh, where I stopped at where they said she's focusing on caring for her new daughter, Brooklyn, Doris Daly. Okay. Can you have teased that she was returning to the show when she was interviewed on the Real Talk Show? I would say that there's some truth to that. Conversations. Yes, conversation. She said at the time about the rumors that she was speaking with producers of Real Housewives of Atlanta. With her returning, we can only guess what drama we will see. Do you think the rumor is true that Nene is sitting out part of the new season? What drama do you think will unfold for next season? Okay. And that was written by J.W. Bow for iClick TV. Okay. Very nice article. Very nice, well put together. Give it up for. Me, um, JW Bow, okay, great job. But I don't think I'm saying, look, if it was something these ladies did not want to be on, bet they would not be on it, okay. That's just one thing get it right, get it in your head, stop thinking other ways. These ladies want that money, and if it means putting them in a on, um. What do you call it? An unlikely type situation or something that you really wouldn't be seen in if you weren't making money off of acting like a fool or getting looked at in a negative way. They wouldn't do it, but they like it. They like the attention. They like what the show brings them as far as monetary gain and, and, and influencing them to get into other settings in the industry of entertainment. Okay. Same thing with Ken. Had to issue that Porsche. I'm not Porsche, but uh, Phaedra may be coming back. Candace said, uh-uh, I ain't going to be a part of no Real Housewives of Atlanta. Would you be? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I still will be. I will be getting my money. And every time I got a chance to cuss Phaedra out on TV, I sure will be doing it. And that's drama. In effect. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't put hands on it because I know, hey, law say don't do that. And I don't like jail. I don't like nothing put on my name negative where, you know, somebody can pull it back. 23 years from now, you know what I'm saying, or several years from now, but yes, I'll be on stage, on, 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 on filming, clowning her every time I get the chance, okay, <sighs> because I would not leave my platform because they want to bring her back, okay, that's just it, so I'm like, I don't understand her dilemma, because she did say that, oh, if she bought her back, if you want to work with somebody, hey, people going to talk, they talk about Jesus Christ, they even crucified him, and look, what, look, what's going on? Okay, we still believe. We still believe in the afterlife. We still believe that heaven is awaiting the ones and, and the true uh, lights of God. Okay? So, that's all I got to say. Don't believe the hype and the clout. People still want to keep how they've grown into all of this material wealth and these resources uh, that get them into other avenues where they can be, get seen uh, by the public and just get all this I'm going to say a famous, what do you call it? Famulosity. May not be a word, but I'm making it a word today. They want to be known by everybody. They want to be adored by everybody. They want everybody to know their name and chanting and you know, almost like an idol or something, okay? A little bit too much for me because then you put yourself in a fishbowl and then they wonder why they can't go outside in the public eye and have dinner with the children while somebody coming up wanting to get an autograph or a picture for the social media feed or whatnot. Well, you know, I'm like, hey, do the time. You did the crime. Do the time. You can, you know, your time where you're actually being able to live way above, you know, where you once were before you got into the entertainment field. You just got to go with the gusto and have a little piece that's a part to it. Okay. When you're in your home and you're isolated from the world and you got good people around you or who you deem good enough to be around you. That's your solitude. But once you step out that door, I don't care if you just go into the mailbox, you know. Somebody come up to you, hey, they support you. They're watching your show. They're buying your merchandise, your product. So, in a sense, they own you in a sense, okay? So, anyway, 
That's just my talk of the day, my tea to spill. So check back with me and see what else I got to talk about later on. Okay, peace and blessings. Catch you next time. Bye.